affecting the entire country heading to the polls a week from today. And here in Oklahoma, the race for governor dominating the airwaves. I know you've seen the political attack ads, but how accurate are they? Evan put two of the newest ads to a KSCO 5 truth test. With Kevin Stitt, the corruption never ends. An ad from the Oklahoma Project targeting Governor Kevin Stitt over claims of corruption. Oklahomans have suffered the largest abuse of tax dollars in our state's history. This, we believe, is misleading to voters. That quote is from State Auditor Cindy Byrd, describing the alleged actions of Epic Charter School's founders and former executives. Those former executives now facing prosecution. Governor Stitt and Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister have both received campaign contributions in the past from Epic, but what this ad refers to has nothing to do with the governor. Stitt appointees met behind closed doors and agreed to send millions to the company Stitt founded, now owned by his personal family trust. This part of the ad is true, though context always helps. It refers to the Quality Jobs Program, which sends taxpayer money to Oklahoma companies in return for them creating high paying jobs. Gateway Mortgage, a company started by Stitt, had already been receiving these incentives. This vote was to extend that to the recently merged Gateway First Bank, and two of the three unanimous votes to do so came from members recently appointed by Governor Stitt. According to reporting from the frontier cited in the ad, the vote was after a closed door executive session. And yes, Governor Stitt stepped away from operating Gateway when he was elected and ownership was transferred to a family trust that he does not control. It is up to voters to decide how they feel about taxpayer incentives going to a company started by the governor and in many ways still benefiting him long term. But we should point out this as, as far as we could tell is perfectly legal. But what about this ad from the stick campaign targeting Joy Hoffmeister? Who fought to keep schools closed while test scores plummeted. This claim is mostly true. In the summer of 2020, Hoffmeister supported a plan of requirements for Oklahoma schools that, if passed, would have forced them to shut down at certain COVID transmission levels. Those levels, which, by the way, we reached. The Board of Education voted against that plan and instead strongly suggested those protocols for schools. Now, we've asked Hoffmeister about this. She said that that proposal had an expiration date that fall and that she was only following guidance from state and national health leaders. But there is a lot in this ad that is not supported by fact. Liberal Democrat and Joe Biden ally Joy Hoffmeister has been bought by the special interests. Calling Hoffmeister a liberal Democrat is stretching it, as most political experts would describe the until recently registered Republican as a moderate. Hoffmeister has criticized President Biden's tough talk on oil and gas, though it is safe to say that she would be more of an ally to him than Governor Stitt. And they bought Joy Hoffmeister. And we also take issue with these claims of Hoffmeister being bought by special interests. It is true. She has had a lot of outside money coming in on her behalf, attacking Governor Stitt. But until something changes, outside money is the name of the game in American politics. And just as we would call it unfair to say Governor Stitt is bought by special interests just because he receives special interest money, we believe it is also unfair to claim the same about Hoffmeister.